Carrie Sherburn, senior editor at What They Think, and I'm here with Dan Defino, who's vice president and managing partner at 2Ks in Chicago. Welcome. Thank you. Or you should welcome me since we're at your You're place. Welcome. <laughs> um, so we wanted to talk a little bit about wide format. Um, how long have you guys been in the wide format business, and what kind of drove you to add that to your business? Well, we've been in the wide format business for approximately about eight to nine years now. Great. Um, that drove us, we were driven into that in our business because we were a, more of a conventional pre-press, um, conventional printing company, and then small format digital with the mm -hmm. Indigos. Um, and then we grew our business into getting further and, and having more products to sell. Uh, that pushed us into going into the wide format as we saw a need for starting kind of with banners, um, and doing things off the roll fed and eventually getting onto things off the flatbed presses. So you've got UV flatbed? Yes. Well, an FB? 700. 700. Yes. And um, you also have um, a bunch of latex. We have a lot of latex printers. Yeah, we are, uh, I believe, one of the larger uh, HP um, customers in using the latex printers uh, than anybody else out there in the country and possibly even in the world. Um, but we uh, have now seven latex printers. Um, we went into the latex printers uh, years ago. Uh, we found it as quite a, uh, a, a higher level of, of moving into the large format roll fed printing. Um, in the past it was UV um, and uh, solvent printers, mm -hmm. but the latex came about and we've had nothing but success with them. So what's the big differentiator with latex then? You know, there's a number of uh, differentiators with the latex. Uh, a couple of the biggest things that a lot of people, of course, are concerned about is that they're eco-friendly. Um, there's no ventilation needed for them. Um, so they are, uh, they are uh, best for the environment, which, of course, is important to 2Ks and important to most people and most of our mm -hmm. customers out there. Uh, the consistency that we see with the presses are better than any, uh, anything else we've seen out there. We could set up the presses, we could let them go on a roll and basically they're self-sufficient from that point on. What you wow. see in the beginning of the print run is going to be the same as what you see at the end of the run off of a roll. So you've got, uh, and with, throughout your plant, we had, a, we had a wonderful tour earlier, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. um, you have all kinds of different output devices. How do you manage color across that, say starting from you know, the wide format and if you've got components that are offset or components that are indigo, how do you manage that color process across all of that? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, we have, we have a number of different devices and um, we're taking a number of different substrates, running them through a number of different devices with a number of different techniques. Uh, we have um, some quality folks here that have been with us for a long time and they are really the ones and the gatekeepers of making sure that 2Ks is color consistent through everything we do. It's been in our DNA. Uh, we started as a pre-press and a color company mm -hmm. uh, before we ever went into print and we are G7 certified. So what we do is take a benchmark off of one of our proofing systems and make sure that everything is kind of in tune to that benchmark running from output device to output device so that if something needs to get, if there's a promotion that needs to get printed off a number of different devices, um, it's going to look like it could live in the same environment when it's all up together. That's terrific. And so in terms of applications, maybe and there's too, too many to count, but in the wide format area, maybe you could just give us a little highlight on some of the things that you're doing and, and why digital is a value there. Yeah, we've been obviously growing a lot in that large format digital end. The applications are numerous. Um, as the world changes a little bit, um, you know, constantly every day and wants to go more variable, that has driven, we think, the large format printing. And that means that we're able to take devices and, and take what we're doing, be more pointed and more direct in the message from the marketers out there. And the print runs are coming down, which means you need digital devices to be able to hit that short run which now is growing into a larger run because the devices are getting faster, but to be able to make things more variable and get them out in a more timely manner. So we, uh, on the floor, we saw some examples of one of your clients that's a, uh, I guess a, a snack food company or mm -hmm. a, a, you know, in, that serves the retail industry. And um, so as I understood it, one of the benefits that they've been able to do is to be able to quickly get things regionalized and out there. Maybe you could talk a little bit about how that works with the kits and things like that. Absolutely. We have some technology that uh, empowers some of the print devices that we have here. By using that technology, our clients can come in and basically brand their message, make it more variable. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, um, marketers like the one that you mentioned and some other marketers 
would have to gather different orders nationwide, and that message that they would be going out to market with would be a static message. Mm -hmm. Now they're able, with some of our technology, to go in, make the message more variable, come to our print devices that are able to print variable, smaller quantities, faster run rates, faster speeds to market, and be able to get messages out that are variable and not just the same static message going out to the whole country. So then the regional person can just come in through your your um, your operating system, in, which is called Backstage, Correct. and order what they need. You produce it, ship it out in a day or two. Everybody's happy. They're selling more stuff. Absolutely, yeah. Which the, is the point. Right. <laughs> the, the, the kind of companies that you mentioned, a lot of the, we deal a lot in the QSR industry, mm -hmm. the quick service restaurant industry. Instead of making those national messages that may work on the East Coast but don't work on the West Coast, they could come and go into our portal, go into Backstage, make their message more customized, and get out what they need that's more pertinent to their, their area. So I can get my lobster roll in New England and my Dungeness crab in San Francisco. Absolutely. That's terrific. That A works. very impressive operation, and thank you so much for sharing with us. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate it.